So the first thing is in chapter one, we will discuss about mainly about the just kind of overview of all that course okay, itself. So in this introductory chapter one course, uh, in this part, we will go for three fundamental questions, three main questions. The question about what, why, and how. Uh, this is just a map. So the first thing is, what okay is inside the security we will study in this course in this chapter one. Okay, so in chapter one we will know most of the what. So what is computer security and what are the assets inside computer security and why we are using them uh, to defend our security systems to. Uh, resolve to solve the issues of security okay and how we will handle such kind of situation of security breaches uh, we will study here in this chapter one in a short way okay not in very detailed manner but uh, we will know just know how to okay resolve such issues okay in a brief content that's all so uh, let's move on to the next slide. So the computer security, okay, uh, I think, yeah. So the computer security as per the definition is uh, security of entire enterprise, okay, network, or maybe entire, entire organizational network like this one. So we may have many uh, internet okay, connections inside, we may have several uh, servers, okay, like this one, okay, a bunch of servers here, and also in some companies, we have the clients, different clients for the workers of the company, employees, and also at the same time, we may have some firewall, and also another, okay, many firewalls like this one, routers, switches, and so many are networking hardware devices. So we are going to protect each and every item within this scenario. So the definition is computer security is a protection. It is a protection, okay, afforded to automated information system like this one in order to attain the applicable objectives of perceiving the integrity, availability, and confidentiality of information system. So. Uh, these are the three keywords that we should keep in our mind, okay? So, integrity, availability, confidentiality. So, uh, we will study this three, these three keywords later, that's okay. So, it will protect, okay, the computer security, okay, is a protection system or protection, okay, afforded to an automated information system in order to attain the applicable objectives of preserving and saving, okay, uh, the integrity, availability, and confidentiality of information system resources, okay. So resources are just assets, okay. It can be any kind of hardware, okay, like this one, like this one, any kind of hardware, software, which is running on these servers, like Windows Server 2003, 2008, 2013, okay, and so on. And also uh, firmwares, okay? Firmwares like to protect the, okay, some of the networking devices, like firewall or maybe uh, the routers, switches, okay? And information data the data of the enterprise or maybe the data about of the organization so we are protecting all these items together and telecommunication system as well so it consists of each and everything okay as per the definition and i have shown you the same one here in the diagram that's all so let's move on okay so the key security concepts in this one is confidentiality, integrity, and availability. So the 
uh, sometimes it is also known as CIA triad. Means triad means three. One, two, three. And C for availability. So the confidentiality is the keyword for preserving or keeping or saving authorized restrictions on information okay, which is accessed throughout the network and discloses. So it will protect, it will preserve the authorized restrictions on information access and discloses. So it includes okay, uh, protecting personal privacy and proprietary information. The loss of confidentiality is a big problem most of the time related to the computer security. So, okay, uh, the next one is integrity. So integrity is uh, guarding, okay? It is an entity, it is a, a term which is used for guarding or protecting against improper information, okay? Modification or destruction, like this one. So we will study, okay, all these things later. And you will let, I will let you know what are those things. And also uh, at the same time, web availability means ensuring timely and reliable access to the okay, information, that's all. So these three terms are very important. And I will give you an example. Let's say uh, you are in the business of Amazon.com, okay, the website which is online retailer. So uh, most of the time, okay, the the website, the company, Amazon, don't want to keep all the data confidential. No, it's not possible. They keep the all the information av available to the public, to the user. Uh, for example, the price of the items the information about the items which are inside the selling okay, domain and also okay, uh, each and every information related to the product itself. So it don't hide okay, the information. So confidentiality is not breached at that moment, but some of the information is hidden. Let's say if someone want to buy the product, from the company, Amazon. It has to go for banking transaction, okay? which is always confidential in between the seller and the buyer. So such kind of data okay, protection is always there and that is there for confidentiality. Uh, the next thing is integrity is uh, we want to keep okay, all these items together, but uh, we want to be sure that okay, all these okay transactions are integrated. There is no such kind of modification by the hackers. Let's say a hacker want to change the price of the item. It is not possible because of the integrity of the system website. Okay, so integrity will help the companies to protect against the hackers by okay, stopping him, stopping them um, by not to modify all the data which is inside the business system. Okay, uh, okay the next thing is available. Always the, the, every company want to keep their website or their system running 24-7, means 24 hours, seven days in a week all over the uh, year. So they never want to let the server down so that server or just availability uh, in relation to the security issues. Okay, They want to keep all the okay, business transaction and business uh, scenario going on Okay, during all those okay, uh, days and nights every time. That's all. Okay, let's move to the uh, main, okay, uh, the triad, CIA triad. So in this CIA triad, okay, uh, we were discussing about the confidentiality, integrity, and availability. Uh, the easiest, okay, understanding about the kind of
confidentiality can be understood like confidentiality is uh, is a term and uh, the CIA tried is in fact a tool okay for the security professionals uh, who want to maintain the security of the system so it can be considered as a CIA tried tool or modeling tool to protect to guard against the okay all those uh, mal okay functioning of the system so uh, it represents okay uh, three separate okay goals CIA tried okay represents three mainly three separate goals or aspect the three are these are one okay CIA so uh, aspects in the sense that it is the same okay it has different aspects okay in fact it, it is uh, three aspects of the same thing which is about the security okay so it is just different, different aspects of the security right so from the aspect of confidentiality okay uh, we can think it as safe from spying eyes okay so every time whenever okay we are talking about that confidentiality it means we are saving okay our system from spying eyes the hackers is trying to get into the system but we are making safety okay a mazes for our system at the same time the uh, integrity ensures the safety from okay it is safe from okay safety from the unauthorized changes okay modification of the data or de destruction of the data okay deletion of the data so it will protect against all those okay hackers activities so this is okay in the part availability is uh, another term which is always ensuring our system to have reliable and accessible okay interaction so always the system is reliable and accessible uh, no time is for inaccessibility means it will always ensure the availability of the system itself there's no time to fail for the system okay failure for the system so availability is another term so what does it mean uh, in context of okay data and services it means that we are protecting data and services and in fact we are protecting not just data or services we are protecting system as well okay the main system so we are protecting all these way together inside our cia triad okay this one okay let's Okay. Uh, the other terms uh, related to the confidentiality is uh, we are just protecting uh, against okay saving our system against the data confidentiality and information privacy. We will study later. Okay, these two, and in the same way, integrity ensures two terms. Number one is data integrity and system integrity. Okay, so these two terms are connected with the integrity. We are integrating the data we are okay uh, we are ensuring the integrity of the data at the same time we are ensuring the integrity of the system in the same way we have okay availability availability of the data system and services that's all so this is a whole uh, scenario okay examples and all the okay uh, of our CI tribe it is a vast topic and uh, just if you want to study i will let you know by the book okay where you can find other stuff okay let's move to the next one so the additional security concept so in addition to cia there are some okay other okay factors uh, the first one is authenticity and the second was one is accountability so these two factors are also essential for ensuring that data security or information security as well as system security okay? 
the IT security depends on these two factors as well. So authenticity is the property. It is mainly a property of being genuine and being able to be verified and trusted. So it will ensure that someone who is logging inside the system is, is the real person, is a well verified person and trusted with the, their okay, uh, signatures and other stuff. Okay? and have confidence in the validation of a transmission, okay? So there's a confidence, okay, in the transmission of transaction of the data in the system and out of the system by the user, okay? Or the message or anything else, right? Accountability is the, okay, second term, which is a security goal. The security goal that uh, guarantee uh, generates okay the requirements for actions of an entity to be trusted okay so uh, this this is another term we will study in detail about this thing okay you might have already studied that's better okay so additional okay components are the same one authenticity and accountability so the gist of this one can be considered as it is a reliability or trust okay within the system okay which is ensured by the system itself okay uh, whenever there's interaction with the outsiders okay it will sure make sure that whether the user is the real user or a hacker okay it will be decided by this feature and accountability is the responsibility you can think like this the same thing okay Okay, let's move to the next one. Uh, we have several security challenges from time to time. So security okay, challenges are okay, uh, quite wide actually, not just 10 points, okay? It is more than that. But um, the basic one is here, okay? For example, uh, the computer security is not as simple. It is a complex, difficult job, okay? To maintain, to see, okay? To monitor, right? The second thing is uh, the computer security, okay, uh, must have a consideration for potential attacks, okay. So we IT professionals, especially the security professionals, are always okay, in consistent discussion and monitoring, okay, the, all the networks within the security, okay, uh, domain for the potential attacks by the hackers. So always uh, there's quite a lot of chances okay, are there for attacks, okay? So we should be ready. This is another consideration, okay? But the challenges are, okay, there because we don't consider, okay? We take it lightly and not the, the things happen suddenly. Okay, okay uh, let's move to the next one. Procedures, okay, uh, use as counterintuitive. So the in the IT security, all those procedures, okay, are used as counterintuitive, uh, means unexpected, as I told you, okay? So security breaches can happen anytime, anywhere. That's possible, okay? Also, it involves, okay, most of the time, in fact, algorithms. So security algorithms, uh, can be fine each and everywhere, okay? The next thing is, uh, must, okay, the security, okay, challenges, must decide where to deploy, okay, the mechanism, the plan to fight against the security breaches, okay? And also uh, the battle, it can be considered as battle between the attackers and the users or administrators okay this is also one of the scenario uh not perceived okay on benefit until fails this means uh we don't have prior knowledge about all those kinds of attacks we just guess it that it may happen and then we implement our security policies and plannings right 
and it requires regular monitoring always okay keep an eye on all those okay security okay related issues and if there's some problem just try to figure out and then try to resolve those problems and the next one is is too often okay uh, and afterthought so as it is obvious okay the same thing and it is regarded as impediment okay to using system so it it is a kind of barrier sometimes people think it as a big okay burden barrier to use security system inside their uh, corporate system or business system but really it is not a barrier it is a, a kind of help to let the system business system or some other corporate system stand out from all those malicious okay attacks okay so uh, these are some of the challenges that we are okay, facing with uh, let's see okay what are those terminologies okay which are used frequently uh, interchangeably sometimes uh, in our IT security okay so adversary is the first term okay threat agent uh, it is in fact attackers okay attackers on who attack the system so an entity that attacks okay the so it can be a threat to the system or it can be a direct attack okay active attack or passive attack all these things and the attack is Itself, okay the second one is an assault on system security it is a uh, strike on the system okay security in terms of okay uh, some breaches security breaches has been okay observed and the attackers find the easiest opportunity to get into the system and destroy the system that's all okay uh, the next one is countermeasures okay the second this one uh, the countermeasures, okay, is uh, just basically a measure to counter the attack, okay, the action or this uh, devices, procedures, okay, techniques that are used to reduce the threat, mitigate the threat, okay, uh, vulnerability, uh, vulnerability, okay, one, the second uh, type, and attacks, okay, by the eliminating or preserving Okay, are uh, preventing okay all these okay things. Okay, uh, we will see later. I will explain you all these things, which is very easy. Okay, risk okay is always a factor whenever we are considering that there is some possibility of attack or there is some possibility of happening something wrong. Okay, then we are always measuring the risk. Okay. Risk is always associated with any kind of happening possibility, and we measure okay it in probability. Okay, so risk is an expectation of loss. Okay, that we may suffer in future or maybe in near future. Okay, and it is measured in probability mathematically. Okay, okay, let's move to the next one. Uh, security policies okay security so uh, th these are some other terminologies okay security policies a set of rules or practices okay security policies then uh, a set of rules and practices okay the best practices for securing okay our system the policy okay which is consisting of rules and regulations and practices to protect against the wrong thing okay uh, something wrong okay so that is called security policy okay uh, let's see okay system based resources and it is also sometimes known as assets okay so assets can be any type okay it can be a hardware or software okay firmware or documentation or data anything in within the network system okay all those so data okay contained in an information system or a service provided by a system mainly okay or a system capability such as processing power or communication bandwidth 
Okay, uh, the threat is another term, okay, which is, uh, you can think it as warning, okay, it can be considered as warning, a potential threat, okay, or the threat can be considered as a potential warning for violation of rule, violation of security, okay, breaches. I mean, uh, security breaches happen because of the violation of security rules, okay. Uh, okay, the next thing is, a vulnerability, okay? Vulnerability is another term, okay, which is quite used these days. Uh, a flaw or just loophole in the system or weakness inside the system because of maybe the uh, malfunctioning of the software. The software is not so good enough. There are some bugs inside the software that cause the destruction of entire system it is also possible okay someone has written the software some company has written software but there's some kind of error some bugs inside the system a uh, software and then uh, it will crash the system itself because of the hackers attack okay uh, there are many examples that's all okay let's move to the next one so this is a, a scenario of okay security concepts and relationships so in this one, we have, okay, two parties, okay, security professional, uh, that is honor, okay, and threat agent attackers. And inside, okay, uh, you can see here, okay, uh, security professional is always trying to, okay, impose, okay, uh, some countermeasures beforehand, okay, and uh, also it puts some values to the assets, okay? So the main target is this asset for the attackers and for the security professionals. All those assets are the main target for attackers and the security professional. Attackers want to hack all these assets, but the security pro professional want to save, okay, to protect all these assets. So this is the battle between these two protect the asset or uh, destroy the assets that's all so uh, the thing is okay the attacker always want to get the assets by okay uh, all the threats okay so let's say the th uh, threat agent or attackers okay uh, utilize some kind of loophole within the system and it will use that loophole to acquire to get into the assets but at the same time okay uh, it is possible by the security professional to boost the security to uh, to increase the security measures okay for example it will impose some countermeasures okay plan something okay that will defend against those attackers okay to reduce the risk okay uh, it has measured some risk and it will try to reduce the risk of attack and this is how it it is working here right so always okay the security professional wish to minimize okay the risk the main thing okay and at the same time okay uh, the attacker always increase the threats okay? this is the thing so this is the scenario between these two okay sides Okay, uh, let's move on, okay? I think uh, we have shortage time. Okay, no problem, just move on. So the assets of a computer system, okay? Uh, as I shown you, I, I have told you earlier, hardware, software, data, communication facilities, and networks like local area network, wide area network, communication links, okay? The bridges, the routers, the switches, all these. So uh, these are, okay, some of the assets. Okay, uh, the next one is uh, vulnerabilities, okay? Vulnerabilities are actually the weakness inside the system. So uh, it can be categorized into different, okay, uh, categories like this one, okay? So the categories of vulnerabilities are uh, corrupted, leaky, or unavailable. So the character one is, uh, it can be corrupted, okay? Uh, so that it does 
the wrong things or give wrong answers okay so the results will come if the vulnerability is is corrupted type this means you will get the results always in the wrong way okay wrong answers wrong result you will get always wrong answers wrong results okay if it is corrupted if it is okay leaky means it will expose some sensitive information of the system okay and it can it will leak out okay some of the okay expose some sensitive information okay unavailability okay unavailable so this kind of vulnerability can exist okay uh, uh, like when the system is not available okay like this unavailable so information and services get down okay the server get down okay because of this unavailability nature of vulnerabilities okay so unavailability okay this one let's move to the next one. so uh, this is uh, some of the scenario okay uh, i was talking about so if i can okay, show you so this is okay how about okay uh the the things so let's say these are the assets and uh, the hacker okay want to track or just get into the assets uh, assets can be emails your internet your social media and other okay? so the hacker always want to get into all those system consisting of uh, complete infrastructure of the company but at the same time okay uh, the user okay is trying to get the get the assets okay this is the main thing and the hacker is trying to get into uh, the system directly or indirectly via the user it is also possible i will show you later all these scenarios okay that's okay so there are mainly uh, two types of okay uh, attacks that we observe okay types of attack okay so the thing is active attack so in the active attack okay uh, it is an attempt by the hackers to alter the system resources to change the system data uh, information uh, system okay services everything or affect okay operations also uh, the in the passive attack the second one uh, the hacker always attempt to okay learn or make use of information which is inside the system so by stealing by okay taking all the information in its okay uh, in confinement we can uh, the hackers can misuse those information this is the another one okay about the passive uh, okay the again we can also classify attacks okay based on the origin of the attacks so it can be insider attack or outsider attack so insider inside attack can be an entity inside the security parameters okay so inside okay the attack means maybe some some entity within the computer network okay let's say we have a network inside the computer uh, our company and there are some okay computers are not working properly and uh, maybe it got some virus or some kind of okay uh, worm and it will help attackers okay to get the information leaked out from the enterprise security okay so this the such kind of uh, inside attack is possible outside attacks are always okay from outside the network outside the parameters okay okay let's move to the next one okay uh, in the countermeasures okay we have uh, as i just told you earlier the measurement for the counter okay so countermeasures is a measure to counter okay to against the security problem okay to a measure a an activity which is used to okay counter which is used to okay 
solve the security problem or issues. That's all. So the countermeasure is a, a is an is any means, okay, any task, any way that that is taken by the security professionals, okay, to deal with okay security attack, to remove the security attack, to minimize the security attack, okay, all these things. So it can be devised inside okay uh, the system to prevent a particular okay type of attack from succeeding when preventing prevention is not possible okay whenever the prevention is not possible the system will fail okay uh, so prevention is not possible or fails in some instances the goal uh, the goal is to detect the attack okay this is the second okay countermeasure so if we can detect the problem that's okay uh, the first thing is we want to completely uh, destroy okay the hackers strategy this is the first thing uh, from the IT security professional perspective and the second one is if we cannot do it we want to identify where is the where is the hacker or what kind of okay processes are going on in our system okay so it will uh, try to recover the system itself from all those okay uh, bad happenings within the system. So uh, threat consequences and threat actions are correlated actually. So threat actions are done by the hackers, okay, and it will generates a series of okay uh, problems inside the system. So unauthorized disclosure, uh, deception, and disruption, and un uh, usurpation, okay, are uh, the four main things. So we will study one by one, okay. Let's say unauthorized disclosure. In this one, the threat action may be, uh, the attack may be thus on the sensitive data, okay. So sensitive data are directly released to an unauthorized entity, maybe the hackers, okay. And uh, maybe this one, like interception, an unauthorized entity directly accesses sensitive data, okay, traveling between authorized sources and destination. So just a movement from the source to destination, okay. In the meantime, okay, in the midway, the hackers or attackers got the idea and took it. Okay, that's all. So, uh, and the consequence could be, okay, the circumstances. Okay, or the events whereby an entity gains access to data for which the entity is not authorized. So it can be like this one, okay? Uh, like, okay, we have, the, let's say this is the open internet, and okay, that's okay. The hacker is here, okay? And the hacker want to go through the internet, okay, well, using the internet, want to get into the resources of the company, for example, Compromise host, okay. Uh, host may be the users, okay, or compromise some other, okay, these other users, okay, or maybe it compromises the server itself, okay, like this one, or maybe it compromises some routers, okay, or switches, which is used to send and receive the data from the user to the companies, okay, uh, server. So it if it is in the process of hacking even the routers or switches then it can directly uh, get all the transmitted data okay to itself okay so it can know all the transmitted data by this way so all these okay the firewall also there okay so all these are okay uh, security threats okay let's move to the next one a uh, deception is another type okay uh, Masquerade. Okay, I will show you later all these things. Okay, these are just very simple. You can get some idea. Okay, so uh, deception is another one. Okay, I have shown you here an example. The better example is next one. Okay, I will show you uh, deception, assumption. Okay, all these different types. Uh, security attack. Okay, so in this one, okay, we have classified as passive attack and active attack. Okay. 
So the passive attack attempts to learn okay, or make use of information. That, that is the passive. But it doesn't, okay, the main thing is it doesn't affect okay, system resources. Means the attacker don't destroy okay, the system resources. It gets some spy on those okay, information. It gets information, but it don't destroy the system itself. Uh, in the active attack, okay, it did uh, the attempts uh, are to alter okay the system resources, change the data, or destroy the data okay itself, affect their operations. That's all. So, uh, passive attacks are in the nature of eavesdropping, listening. Okay, just like someone is listening to someone's talk. Okay. So it is a just listening. It is not destroying the talk, okay, in the same way. Uh, the path, okay, uh, attack uh, is uh, monitored and trans uh, transmitted. Uh, it is ob always, okay, listening to the transmitted data or monitored data, whatever, right, inside the system. And the second thing is the goal of the attackers is to obtain information. That's all that is being transmitted within the network. Okay, uh, there are okay, uh, types of passive attacks, okay? Uh, the first one is release of message content, okay? And the second one is traffic analysis. I will show you by the figure, that's better. So in this one, okay, in the release of message content, uh, let's say uh, a user is trying to send some message to the friend, but in the meantime, the hacker is trying to get into the network and it is trying to get all the information which is passing through from the user to the uh, from the uh, sender to the receiver it will try to get all those information inside this is called release of message content okay uh, and in the second type of attack traffic Okay. Uh, okay, this one. Let's say the user is sending some message to the okay friend. Okay, this is the sender and this is the receiver. In the meantime, okay, using the internet, uh, the you the hacker okay is of uh, the hacker is trying to okay. Uh, trying to observe okay the uh, message from okay the sender to the receiver and uh, using the traffic that's all okay so what's the difference the difference is okay in this one okay uh, the tele uh, we can think it as elect uh, the release of message content is easily understood okay the telephone con conversation and electronic mail message and Transmitted file may be may contain sensitive or confidential information, and the attacker or hacker will try to okay uh, take out all those messages, okay, pretending that it is the real okay receiver. Uh, he is the real receiver. But in the second type of passive attack, traffic analysis, the user will analyze the data, okay. It will analyze the data. Okay, and try to find out some uh, result, natija. Or okay, always try to find out what activities are going on and using some of the hacking, okay, trafficking uh, tools, okay, network trafficking tools. It is trying to find out, okay, some result, okay, what kind, what kind of activities are going on. So this is the difference between these two. So, so even if they capture the message, okay. Extract those information actually okay, transmitted from the user to the uh, from the sender to the receiver. So it is more okay encrypted message. So that's why the hacker cannot get the idea about the message, but it can see okay all the transmissions. That's all. So. In release of message, the user, uh, the hackers or attacker can see the message, but here it cannot see the message 
in the traffic analysis, but it can analyze the traffic of the network. It will, okay, you, it will be used for uh, spoofing the network, that's all. Okay, let's move to the next one. Uh, so there are also different types of active uh, attacks. So I will show you by figure, okay, rather than pitch uh, these, okay. So these are the same uh, four main one, okay. Rather than telling you the first one, okay, replay. The replay is. So in replay, okay, uh, the user is uh, or the sender is sending some uh, message to the receiver, okay, here. And the replay, okay, is done by the hacker. It will, okay, take all the, okay, data which is transmitted from the sender and it will go to the hacker it will take all the data which is sent by which is sent by okay uh, the sender and it will okay then send back okay after knowing all the information it will send back to the receiver that's all so you will find some delay in the transmission okay of the data it is possible uh, the type is masquerade okay Masquerade is another type of attack. Uh, in this one, okay, uh, the sender don't have any interaction, but the hacker and the receiver has interaction. This means it will pretend that it is the real okay sender, and it will just make okay mask or just uh, hide okay all the information of the uh, sender and send his own data, okay, his own information to the sender, that pretending that he is the real, okay, sender. And so the receiver will receive always the messages from the hacker, uh, guessing that uh, the hacker is itself, okay, the sender, that's all. Okay, uh, the next one, okay, is, about the active attack modification of message. So in this one, uh, as you can see here, in the first one, okay, uh, replay will, okay, just, okay, uh, in the replay scenario, the sender, okay, is hacked by the hackers. So it will, uh, the, the attacker will take all the data from the sender and then resend the exact same data, same message to the receiver. But here in this modification of message, the sender, okay, uh, is hacked by the hackers, okay. Here uh, all the messages are in control of the attacker, that's okay. But after that, okay, the data or the message will be modified and then sent back to the receiver so modification is there inside this okay scenario uh, the fourth one is a uh, denial of services dos okay denial of services okay we have okay, the scenario like this one uh, oh, there is a server and uh, of a corporate let's say and the user is always okay get out of the controller to access the server. So whenever the user want to log in the system server, it will always fail because of the attackers, okay? Uh, consistent attack policies, which are always inside, okay? In, which is always, always inside the server and always interacting with the server. So no other person can get interaction with the server except the hackers itself directly. Okay. So that's why the user will receive, uh, there's no service available for you like this one. Okay. So denial of services. So the services will be denied in this case. 